Helicoptero. It is almost unlocking, so I am mid-session here. I wasn't going to make a video today, but I've been at the Helicoptero for a few weeks, just once a week, and I think things are starting to unlock. I think the pattern is starting to surrender to me. So anyway, let's take a look at the journey so far over the last few weeks, where I'm up to now, and by the end of this video, I hope to nail the Helicoptero. A few observations about what I think is helping me unlock the Helicoptero. Firstly, my bridge mobility is not terrific, but I have improved it slightly, as well as my hip flexor strength on that receiving leg. So I have done some drills to improve this. I think that has helped, but paramount is understanding the timing and the coordination involved in the sequence because it is quite complex. In any event, I will show you some of the loaded mobility drills I've been doing. This drill is a half bridge drill for the shoulder and thoracic mobility. So let's take a look. I set up in the crawling position. I back step and I simply extend and push through that shoulder and I'm really trying to extend through my upper back. And then I switch sides. I'm really squeezing my glutes, activating my glutes, pushing hard through my shoulder, and really trying to focus on getting into that upper back area to create the arch. This is a hip flexor drill. It's a loaded drill, so it's loading up those hip flexors, the hip flexor that will be receiving the load in the exit of the Helicoptero. So let's take a look at this. So what I'm gonna do is mimic the exit position from a height. And I'm putting the load through this front hip flexor. <sighs> can really feel that in this hip flexor and then do the other side too. As you get stronger with this hip flexor hair stretch, what you can do is lower the height so it makes it more challenging. The other stretch I've been doing is the good old fashioned couch stretch. So I have my knee on a pad, my 
foot is against something like this, a wall. You can use a wall if you have a wall. And then I'll, all I'm doing is really leaning back and I can really feel that through the front of the quad and in the hip flexor. So I'll spend some time here, maybe 60 seconds. And then what I'll do is I'll lean forward and I'll really push through and make space in this hip flexor. And then what I like to do is arch. Whoa. And hold that loaded position for 30 seconds. I rarely wear shoes when I'm training. In fact, I'm a huge advocate for barefoot training, but I have found when it comes to learning the Helicoptero, because initially I'm clumsy, my feet are hitting the ground quite hard, that shoes have allowed me to get more reps in each set. So I hope to take these babies away because look at the size of these babies. Look at that padding. So um, I don't think they're overly good shoes for much else. But um, for this, they have certainly helped me. Okay, I am taking a little break between sets here because I am getting close. So I thought I would talk very quickly about something you may have heard of, mindfulness. So what is mindfulness? Well, it's directing the mind to a particular task in a skillful way. It's very different and nothing like meditation, which is all about stillness and emptiness of mind. So what I love about these skills in movement are that they form part of a mindfulness practice. So you get to see a skill, think it in your own brain, imagine it, how it will feel in your own body, and then start working on the pieces and putting them together until over many, many weeks, maybe many, many months, many, many years, you, your body can do these things that you once just dreamed of. Uh, I think that's pretty freaking cool. Okay, that is it for today. I am gassed. My left hip flexor, that receiving leg, has had enough for today. I'm pretty stoked with where I'm at, with where I've gotten to over the last few weeks of drilling this. It is taking a while to unlock, but that's what is making it so satisfying. So I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, and to check out my online offerings, check the links below. See you in the next video.